Well, uh, with me here is uh, Sean Atwood, uh, who served time, uh, in fact, in America. Uh, and uh, you think the prisoners should have the vote. Why? I think it, it's in the interest of society in the long run to rehabilitate prisoners. If you give them more responsibility in the running of society when they get released, and they are going to end up your neighbours and my neighbours when they do get released, they're likely to be better behaved. But I think, I mean, the argument would be that that, if you like, is looking ahead. Yes. Actually, when you're in prison, you're being punished. Absolutely. And that if you, you know, that you, you should lose your rights as a citizen, or you lose your liberty. So uh, wouldn't it go with that, that your right to, to exercise your vote would go as well? Well, then you get into the philosophical debate of whether prison is rehabilitation or punishment, and I think it should be rehabilitation. But it is a loss of liberty, that's all I'm saying. So, you, yes. I mean, you lose other rights. I, I, what I can't quite understand is why this right should be separated. Well, I discussed this with John Hurst, who actually got the ruling in the Human Rights Court yeah. in Europe, and he said human rights are about protecting the most vulnerable members of society, and prisoners are a section of that group. So in that, you know, in that sense, it's a human right that should be allowed for prisoners. But they have uh, infringed other people's rights, yes. either their physical rights or, or indeed uh, their uh, rights of property. Yes. And, and therefore, a lot of people would, would, would take the view that, uh, you know, frankly, uh, this, this isn't something uh, where uh, it's worth fighting for. But isn't loss of liberty and being punished enough um, for a prisoner? Do we want to treat them harshly so that when they get back to society, they're enemies of society and they're not conforming to the way they want to conform as good citizens? And you genuinely believe that if prisoners had the vote, it would, it would help to reform them? Well, look at the Scandinavian countries. Recidivism is the lowest in them. They have a more humane approach to prisoners and the vote is allowed there. Look at America, you've got one in a hundred adults in the prison system. The jail I was at had the highest rate of death in America and had intense conditions. It's got the highest crime rate in the country. So if we go with the Scandinavian approach where they do allow the vote and they do treat the prisoners more humanely, it's proven to be in the interest in the long run of society. I mean, the suggestion really that this is all a bit of a diversion and uh, by the people who've taken up the cause, that mm -hmm. there are much more important issues about prisoners' rights. I suspect you concede that. I think it's paramount that prisoners are educated and given job skills, and then they would have a better chance to reintegrate in society. I couldn't agree with you more. But I think also giving them the right to vote is giving them an added responsibility and they are more likely then to conform to the rules of that society if they're given the right to vote and participate in it. John Hurst, one of the things he pointed out was right yeah. now, the prisoners, when they're aggrieved, basically what they do is yeah. riot. Yeah. So, you know, if they're given an alternative... But, 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 I mean, it's fair to say, I wouldn't include you in that, but I mean, John Hurst is a pretty unsavoury character. I mean, he's a convicted murderer, he has racist opinions, uh, and he appears to be doing this to make trouble rather than on the issue of principle, doesn't he? I'm not defending anything um, to do with Mr Hurst outside of the right to vote, and he's the gentleman that actually uh, won that ruling in the European High Court. But why do you think he brought it? Do you think he genuinely brought the action uh, because uh, he thought this was so important or because he wanted to make trouble? I don't know what his exact motivations are, but... The bottom line is, I think it is a move in the right direction that gives prisoners more responsibilities to, so that they can better reintegrate in society.